Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Medieval Machines Builder. Where basically we get to build things like this, catapults, completely from scratch. So we'll start a new game and oh, the default name is Engineer. I am on board with that. And we got a letter from the King's Council, our loyal engineer. As a promising young military engineer, we got to build the catapult and stuff. So yeah, I understood. So here we are, not as glamorous as you would have thought the old uh, medieval times. Still over here. This is where we are building our catapult. So you can see we've got to build a wooden beam to start with. So first job, we've got to head into the woods over here where we can select from our little wheel the woodcut axe. And then we can chop down a tree or two. So we'll give this a bit of a boosh like that. And then timber. It was at this moment the guy stirring the soup realized he'd messed up. He had allowed himself to be around Matt while he was chopping wood. It was an obstacle illusion. He's fine. <laughs> I say he's fine. I'm not sure if he is fine. He's stirring very intently there. Maybe he's hoping it's a potion that will make his hair grow back. Anyway, we now have three logs from that. So we can pick these up. And can I pick up more than one? Oh, yeah, I can pick up two. Yes, this is what we're talking about. Can I pick up three? Oh, yes. All right, then we need to place them on this thing so that we can debark them and turn them into beams. Uh, what do I do with these two? Uh, can you look after these for me, please, mate? Cheers, mate. Tell you what, actually. What if we get back on the axe? Chop down a few more of these. Timber! By the way, I love when you finish chopping this. Look at the shadows. They just disappear. All right, that's all the trees I can chop down for now, unfortunately. Still, let's see how many we can carry. Oh, it's just three. It's just three. Still, I think that's plenty to bury this guy and then set it on fire because uh, we want a, a nice warm soup that he's making. So I'll light that in a minute. But in the meantime, let's get to work on this log. And speaking of medieval machines, is your wallet a huge beast that bulges in your pocket like this? Well, you need to check out today's video sponsors, Ridge Wallet. These wallets are super sleek while still having room for up to 12 cards plus cash. There's even a coin tray you can add. They're available in over 30 styles and colors, and you can get matching key cases to hold your keys without that annoying key rattle. Mmm, silence. The wallets come with a lifetime guarantee, which can come in very handy can't they paddy so head to ridge.com forward slash engineer and use code engineer for a 10 percent discount that's ridge.com forward slash engineer thanks to ridge wallet for supporting the channel but let's get back to building that catapult so we've got to debark the wooden log so if we just boosh 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 then that is the wood debarked and look it's a perfect square so we can then pick this up we can carry it over this way then when we place it down here then we're ready for the next parts which are going to require metal strips and nails but i think for now let's just do the other side the wooden beam so grab this log shove it on there strip it off and then take log over this way shove it down there so for this bit at the back we're going to need a short wooden beam the same for the front yep so I guess that means we need to make a beam first. And then if we shove it on here, we can then switch to our saw, which means we can cut this in half to give it a saw. What is this mini game for sawing? What is he doing? That's not how you saw. Why are you teasing it, mate? Give it a proper, proper stroke. Oh my. Anyway, then we can take two little beams, carry them up here. And we can shove one at the back and then one on the front front and then we're ready for these other parts which need the nails and stuff so if we head over this way there's a box of nails very handy so we'll take some of those and then over this way we can go ask this bloke who's what what are you doing he's counting one two three four oh, he's count look he's counting those boxes okay anyway he's literally said to me if i grab him a beer he'll get me the rest of the stuff to build my catapult so let's go find this man a beer i reckon over this way they look quite like bar tents all right, any beers in here? Any beers? Oh, here we go. Here we go. We've got a beer. <laughs> so where was this man? Yeah, just past the huge campfire. I've got you a beer, Mr. Counter. You have saved my life. Man, he must have been parched. So he's given us all the materials. We've got metal strips. We've got iron plates, leather, wooden blocks and lockers and ropes and all sorts. Didn't have any wooden beams, though. So I'm going to have to build one myself. So I'll use this one. Do this again. And then I think I can shove that down. Yeah, wooden beam, metal strip, and nails. All right, and then these things need hammering in. So give them a boosh. Boosh. And this one, boosh, boosh, boosh. So I think they were fasteners to uh, attach the top beam to the bottom beam. That's cool. Boosh these fasteners down. Get these rear ones on as well. 
So I don't know why I'm hitting it straight down. I feel like going at a horizontal angle might be better, but look at that. All right, for this. Oh, I need another beam. No, my tower. It's all physics based. Look, he, <laughs> he's still stirring the soup under there. He had no idea. Still, world's most terrible mini game. Then we can shove that on there. Whack these down. Add those. Whack them down. Right, so then we have all of those on. Oh, look, we can add more parts. So I think to start, let's get short wooden beams so we can do those two. So, saw the wooden beam in half. Oh, I forgot how bad this game was. This literally makes zero sense. What is this? Still, we'll take these over to it. Shove you on there. You on that side. Push these fasteners down. And then... Oh boy, what do we have here? Short wooden beam and rope. Okay, I'm not sure we know how to get rope yet. I guess we do these for now. Some more fasteners. Yeah, it's quite cool actually seeing like how everything actually comes together. Like I've never really thought about how they actually built these machines back in the day. But they're uh, pretty cool. Right, we need some rope. Apparently there's some scattered about. So any any rope about? Excuse me, mate. Have you seen any rope about? Oh, there's some. There's some. I think we will take that. And that. Some more over here. Thank you. All. All right, why is everyone just like sat in their ass doing nothing around it? You couldn't help me like grab some rope or something, could you? No. No, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, I got a carrot. What do I do with a carrot? Hey, suit man, can I add some carrot into the... Oh, I have. One out of five. Oh, man, there's carrots about then. Oh, look, here's another carrot. We'll shove that in. All right, I need rope and carrots. You right, lads? Any you send carrots or ropes? Or... Oh, man, that tree's come down. What do you mean there's no way to move it? I mean, I'm literally cutting trees down over here. Look, I got an axe. I can go. I can literally go and chop. What do you mean no? Fine, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. Aha, cheeky carrot up there. Thank you. Oh, and another one. So add them to the broth. I right, just need one more carrot. Aha, I got you. Right, it's better be worth my while. The soup turned out pretty tasty. I feel stronger and faster now. Oh, I am faster. Oh, nice. So can I pick up more logs? Can I like save this guy now? Oh, no, I can't pick up anymore. Fine, whatever. Shove him back. Anyway, we can shove that in for now. So just tie some rope around there. Nice. I wonder why you tie rope around that. Does it just like make it stronger or something? Grab this other short beam. Shove it there. Pull the rope down. Oh, I need a very short wooden beam now. As well as an axe in there and there. I think I saw, was it over here? Yeah, look. So these are just pre-made parts. So literally just shove that in there. Nice. Rope on the ends. Oh, so that stops the bar, like, coming out. Meaning we can add wheels. Nice. Pretty sure. Have I nice seen wheels about? Yeah, there's wheels. Wait, why is it so much bigger on the floor than when it's in my hands? What? <laughs> I don't know what's happened there. The wheel goes on the end, then a wooden locker goes in that. So let's give that a boost. So that stopped the wheels from uh, coming off. Nice. So we'll do the front ones as well. Wheel them up. Boost those down. All right. So I imagine to get a very small beam, do I just cut these again? I mean, do I need to place it in the middle? Yeah, okay. So now we cut this again with the world's funnest mini game. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Anyway, so now we have the very short wooden beams. So let's grab them. How does it end up that length? Like, look, it's that, <laughs> it's that shape. But when I put it in there, it, how does that work? I need to not think about the logic of these simulation games sometimes. Just boost fasteners as needed. So pull the rope down, which I'm not really sure what it does. I assume it's just for like additional strength. Then fasten that to the vertical pieces. And then... Oh, torsion spring rope. So that's just a big rope with... Oh, a gear mechanism. How does this work? Oh, look, on the outside, there is a gear mechanism with a cog. So it can only spin one direction. So that allows us to wind it up, right? So assume if we whack that in, that's what the rope's connected to there. So that's just like a little... I don't know. I feel like that's pretty much just for neatness, isn't it? But now that's in, we can add a giant wooden spoon to it. And I saw one of those over this way. But yeah, here we go. Giant spoon. So we'll grab that and then we shove that into there. And then I got to whack that in. I guess that just like strengthens the top, does it? Finally, we need a, oh, a short wooden beam to go in there. I've got a short wooden beam right here. So grab that, wang it in up there. Then I just got to whack these fasteners down from the outside, apparently. So that's those all fastened together. We've then got ooh, a stopping thing. So we need a very short wooden beam ooh, and a bit of leather. I assume the leather like stops it from, I don't know, getting damaged. And then this at the back, axes and rope. I'm still missing one bit of rope. I've got seven out of eight ropes. Oh, there it is. It's in It's in the rope jail. 
So we'll clear a log from the soup guy and make some more beams. So then with our very short wooden beam, I can shove it in there. Jump up this side to do the fasteners over here. Another one there. And then around this side. Oh, look, that's the that's the leather. So I assume I just whack that in as well. Boosh. And then we just got to sort this thing out. So I just need an axis. I prefer the term log. So the log is in there. Oh man, there's loads of rope around this. So we got to boost those on to stop that moving. Boost that on to stop that moving. Same on this side, like that. And then this one has a cog gear thing at the end. But then the catapult, it's got to be nearly ready, right? What have we got here? We've got the locker. Oh yeah, okay. This is going to lock it in place. So just whack that in. The catapult is ready. Let's test it in battle. Oh man, so we actually get to see how this works properly. So... There's the shoot thing. There's the pull thing. How do I... Oh, change distance. All right, so I think we're shooting a bit high. I assume... Do I want to hit that tower? So I want to bring it way, way down, right? Oh, yeah, because look at it. Look, that is the front line. What? This is the front line. And, like, no one's doing anything. I've just I've just noticed, like, all the spikes and stuff. So I could have been, like, archered or anything. I've been doing it in clear view of the enemy. But, but anyway, that's distance done. So let's pull this back back oh man i'm so strong <laughs> so you can see now the catch is on the back so so what if i stand on here and press shoot oh man <laughs> i was i was nearly a goner then anyway we can change the rotation of this as well i assume i just want to go like straight down the middle like that though so we pull that back and there are actually rocks over here that i meant to use so let's shove a rock in load and then boosh let's have a look let's have a look oh man <laughs> direct hit i do really want to try and go myself though so whoa oh <laughs> ow thank goodness that leather was there it was nice and soft still if we aim for that panel to the left i assume boosh how's that gonna look oh nice maybe i want to aim like for the bottom of it would that be better boosh right go again where's it gonna hit where's it gonna hit Okay, he left a little hole. Not the not the best, if I'm honest. Still, we keep throwing more rocks at it, and hopefully it'll come down. It's weird, because I never knew that uh, catapults were, like, laser-guided before, but um, that's why these simulators exist, to educate. Boosh. So the front wall is completely destroyed. Do I just go, like, with another hit in the same place? Because then that should smash, like, a hole straight through it, right? Oh, look at that. All right, we go again. We go again. That's got to be... That's got to be it. Boosh. <laughs> That doesn't count as destroyed. Oh, how about that? That's got to be destroyed. Yes, yes. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. The deed is done. The tower collapsed. I can finally rest. I can have a beer. Okay, decent. Now we get a celebration. I wonder, actually, is there is there a limit to how far I can point this, like, left or right? Oh, thank you, devs. Thank you, devs. <laughs> right, where's the soup man? Right, there he is, just beneath those logs, I think. So if we now do distance, bring it down... Oh, no, it's too low. All right, well, we might have to aim for, like, one of the people at the campfire at the back. I think that's a guy straight ahead there. So we'll load that up and then wait for it, wait for it. Oh, it went miles. I'm pretty sure it landed, like, over there. Oh, that's no fun. I do wonder, though, can I, like, load some logs onto this? Uh, I think that might be loaded. Let's press shoot. Oh. Anyway, let's go have a well and beer. Where we end the demo. Well, wasn't that fun? If you enjoyed, boost like button. But for now, I'll say peace, love. And don't ever make soup around me. Bye, guys.